Hey guys. So, I'm back. I'm going to do the tags with you, and if you guys don't want to watch, you don't have to. <laughs> but, I don't have anything else to do. So, I'm just going to take my file folder and just kind of put it over the pocket thing right here. And then decide how far up I want to go. That's my pencil somewhere. And since this is not real decorative, that paper just is not super decorative, I'm going to come up a little high. So I'm going to come up to about here so I can add a tab. And then I know I'm going to cut about right there. So I'm going to do that real quick. If I could find my trimmer. Huh. I lost my paper trimmer. Somewhere. Can't go back to bed and sleep a week every day. Okay. So I know that my pockets are not the same size. So I'm not gonna try that. But I am just gonna make sure that it fits in there pretty comfortably. And that I know that I'm gonna use one of these in there also. So those layer like that. So then I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And this one may fit just if I cut along this crease and yes it will. So let me go, I want to make it the same. Because this one could be more, you know, symmetrical because you see both sides. I'm just going to go right there and I know I'm going to cut at that that crease right inside that crease not on the crease so just this side like this side this side of the crease Got it all the way down and cut and try it again and cut. <laughs> okay, so did I get it? I got it pretty good. There we go. And so then I know also where I'm going to cut here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Now don't worry about this. You can just mat over it, or if you want to give your journal just a little bit more interest, kind of, you just put it on the back. So, so you actually see it. I kind of like doing that. Not going to do that today, I don't think, but I might. You never know. So, let's pull my trash can out so I can put my cutter on it, and then I don't lose it. It's only when I put it away that I lose it. Okay. Hi, honey. So, I'm going to set that aside for now. And I don't, I'm going to put that in here, but for not for now. So then, I have these two made that I was going to put in here. And if I made them fairly thin, like without a whole bunch of embellishment, I could actually put all three of them in there still. So I think that's what I'll do there. And then I still have to add a pocket to this. Not a pocket, <laughs> a tag or something. 
and I thought maybe I would add um, a real narrow booklet. So, so the top comes to right there, but I want to come down a little bit because I want to add a little tab, I think. Okay, so I know right there is where I want to do my, but I don't want to write on it because I don't, uh, I don't want you to see where I write on it. So, okay. Let me get this out. And I really wish I didn't have things in front of the file cabinet where the bigger but I do, so. So go up to about right there and pull it down and center it back in tight and then finish going up. Okay. So then once we fold it, we'll know where to cut it in the second place. I watched a video earlier that said junk, junk journals should only be made with junk. And I was thinking, so maybe we don't make junk journals. Like maybe we make something else. <laughs> I guess we just make journals. Because I don't make total junk journals. I just make journals because I don't make dumpster journals I use old things sometimes but not stuff I get out of the trash or um, yeah I, I wouldn't really want a journal that I dug everything out of the trash because I mean, cereal boxes seem fine. The liners of cereal, uh, they make great mats to work on. Um, you know, envelopes, stuff like that. That's great, but I don't actually want to go dig into a dumpster to get stuff for my journal. That's gross. That's gross to me, I'm sorry. I don't want to go dig in the dumpster for it. Okay, so let me see what I have over here. And this, and that's my opinion. If you make dumpster journals, okay. Okay. I can offend anybody. Oh, God. Okay. So, let's see. I have coffee dyed paper. That's a different weight of coffee dyed paper. I have white paper graph paper, some music paper. I thought this was my dyed paper box. The map. And then I don't know what all this is down here. Oh, that is rice paper. I don't know what all this is. But okay, I'm not digging. I'm just going to grab some coffee dyed paper. I don't know how many I will need. Figure. It's got to stay thin. That's just the thing. It's got to stay semi thin. I love how Sony asks me. Am I hungry? And then they go sit on their butt again. Because, hmm. Such rude people. I live with such rude people. Alright, so I am going to make a little mark right there. Because I'm going to fold right there. Hopefully. 
hopefully I fold okay. And hopefully, eh, I can find my little line again. Okay. This, this came out good. Okay. So then I'm going to trim that because it just makes my life easier. Well, you really don't have to trim right there. You can go over one more time, right? And then cut. One more time. Right? Yeah. One more. Wow, and that worked out so good paper wise. Like, perfect. Hopefully, if I have it like measured right. And that'll be a plenty bunch of paper. So then, if I cut this, if I did this right, I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And that should give me two, two, um, yeah, it's okay. It just adds to the signature, gives me two more folded pieces of paper, if I did this right. And I did. And then they just go like that. Okay, I think you can see better now. So then these will go right in there. And I will trim them off just that tiny bit. Okay, I'll be right back. Hi guys. Hi guys, I'm sorry, I forgot to come back. <laughs> um, I don't know what I did. Did we do this? This is the enclosure to, or the booklet that's gonna go inside there. And just right now, I'm just cutting the cover, so. pretty on here so I'm not, I'm not gonna get out like my I'm just gonna fold it we're just gonna fold it these are my um, one of them that I did my collage papers with Artie Mays's uh, scraps so there's that one. That's the one that's going to go in there. I'm, so, I'm going to trim that up, I promise. Okay. So there's that. Then I have to put a cover on it, huh? 
so I can do it like that and I may cut this down to work with this and that means I probably cut those papers down so yeah that looks nice like that I love I love those leaves this eraser doesn't work so great but I have this eraser thing I don't know what it's called uh, and it doesn't have a name on it and I got it from Staples and it works pretty good it's a white eraser it doesn't work as good as my gum eraser this thing I lost it I, I lose everything but I have a gum eraser somewhere it fell somewhere or the cats got it and ate it who knows they eat all sorts of strange stuff and I can't keep them out of my craft room so before you say you should keep them out of your craft room you can't keep them out of the craft room to them this is their room and they allow me to visit it that's just how it is they're going to eat it they're going to eat it I don't try to let them get string or anything like that but um that may be where it was supposed to be anyhow <sighs> My cats are like little toddlers that never grow up. They're like my husband and my son. Little toddlers that never grow up. Okay. Just maybe. I don't know. Just maybe I like this side better. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll cut them both down and we'll see. But I'm going to cut quite a bit off this side. Like three eighths of an inch. Quite a bit. We're going to ink, not the most exciting thing. talking about my cats. <laughs> just fine. I'm going to worry about the inside of this because I'm going to stencil it so um, probably you never really even see it. 
you know, the stenciling. If, and if it needs to be stenciled, you can always do it afterward. Not stenciled, but inked. You can always do it after you stencil. I like that one for the cover like and the other one's going to want the back anyhow so it doesn't matter so yeah and I am just going to go ahead and cut everything down because I don't have it in me It would be just fine. Okay. I'm going to commit right about there. Hey, I have new subscribers, and I just want to say hi to everybody. Who's new? And say hi to everybody. Who's old? But it is fun when you get new subscribers. So, oh, let's make sure. Yeah, so I'm right about there. close this one's a little higher but okay okay so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the inside of this but for now I think I'm not gonna worry about that I'm gonna go ahead and stencil this and I have some stencils already in here there is this one. Oops, stuff that. Okay, so. I'm just going to stencil on the brown. Nothing special. I don't know if there's a different way to stencil, but this is what I do.
and I just try not to overlap too much on what's already there. Maybe you can blend that out, I don't know, but I think it looks okay. And see, see, you don't really have to ink around the edges now. Oops, not that. And I gotta do this. We need a doily. And those doilies are eight by eight. This paper is probably four by eight. I need a little doily, guys. Hold on, let me go look in over here. I think. See, I was thinking these ones, but they would be too wide. But they're very pretty. And maybe I could use one of these. These ones stick together so bad. And they're hard, kind of, to um, get them apart. But these, this, these are by far my favorite doilies. I wish they were a little smaller, but they are okay. And they came off Amazon, and they were not expensive at all. And I used to always buy Stampin' Up, but then they just kept being so much of a miscut every single time. They were not pretty anymore, so I quit, and I found these, and I thought, well, I'll just try them and see. And so far, they've been really good. I like these. Oh, they're not linen-like or anything like that, but they're, they're pretty. Okay, I guess. Put this here, right down the middle, and then put this here. Then this, I'm going to cut right there. That's, that's where I'm going to cut it. Just that little tiny bit. I bet it's an eighth of an inch, maybe. Maybe. brush real quick. I think that's pretty good. I only use this one for the brown, so it should be okay. And then, what was I doing? Okay. right into here. Pretty good. Pretty good. And I'm not going to trim it. I'm gonna, and I'm going to leave my little doily stick out. I think it's cute. But I'm going to sew it real quick.
Huh. <laughs> uh. Oh, and I wanted to tie these. So we'll just see. If my needle will go through the hole, then I'm going to use them. And it will. Yay! They're the only leaves, like metal leaves, I have a lot of snowflakes. But those are the only leaves. Okay. I always start on the bottom. You could start on the top. You could it doesn't even matter, but I always start on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to go through. And then grab my I'll do it in the next hole, right? That would be better. I don't know. First time doing it. Okay. So I'm going to put this flat and then I'm going to go through the middle. Close to the middle as I get. Okay. Right. through here. Ah, oh, lost my thread. Okay. Then go through right there. Just don't overthink it. Okay. So then this is where I'm going to pull, pull a little more thread through. Is that enough? I think that's enough. And then, hmm. I don't know how to do the leaf. Like, I messed something up. Okay, so if I go through here, so I go through here, go up underneath that, go under here, okay? And then then you, huh, what am I doing? Okay, we'll straighten that out in a second. Then you thread your leaf through here, and then it gets caught right there. And then, Go back through that hole. Yeah. And pull your needle through and your thread, and then you have your your leaf right there where it folds. I think this is how you do it. I don't know. I should watch more videos about it. And pull that through. And tie. Tuck under there. This. Tuck under there. And then you tie. Do y'all think I did this right? I don't know. I guess. I guess. 
has a lot of leeway. But yeah, has a lot of leeway, but it's okay. It's okay. We tried it, we did it. And then I'm just gonna take a couple more of these. And I'm gonna put them back to front like that. So there's two fronts facing out. And then just give them a tie. like a lot. I'm not doing that. Maybe I'll do it to the center of the other signature. I can't get it tied, so it's okay. Um, and so this will just slide right down in here. Lord, I hope I didn't make this too big. I did. Can you believe that? I did. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay. We'll just trim it. It's no big deal. We were going to trim it anyhow. So now we just really trim it. Before I ink it, I think I'm going to make sure it fits. And that time it does, it fits fine. So, and let's ink it real quick. See, I mean, I make all sorts of mistakes, but you can fix them really easy like fixing them is easy easy most of the time some of the time it's not like anytime you use Fabri-Tac for something or score tape for something it's not an easy fix usually you have to go get your undo and undo it but I am going to do something on the inside of these little pockets Um, what I think I might just stencil them. No, I'm not going to stencil them. How about we just add some paper? Like, I like this paper. It'd be alright to add it. I think so. keep my coffee cup like right here it's like right diagonal the other day I don't know I just moved something and I swung my coffee cup oh my gosh Two and a half. So 
I'm gonna cut another piece, two and a half. Just cause I just don't like leaving it like uncovered. And then we're going to do this again. And dudes, we gotta make a whole journal going here. This is just the cover. I'm slow, aren't I? I'm sorry. just have one of those days where you get a creepy feeling I get such a creepy feeling today and I, I don't know why it is just like every other day it's such a creepy feeling I'm gonna call my son in a little while the one that lives in North Dakota and uh, just check on him because I know my man child is at home and uh, and so I know he's safe. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so that's the one that doesn't cut glue on it. How come I didn't do this earlier? I will never know. There. I'm going to gunk up my blade again. Give it an ink and lay her down. This one really looks cute because it has that stain. It has the coffee dyed and the tea dyed on here. The one on the bottom is my tea dyed and that's my coffee dyed. So I kind of like that.
So now it is ready. Oh, I don't know. I just keep thinking it would be so cute. Who cares? It just adds like what and a little itty bitty, uh, just a little itty bitty room in there, but it takes up a little room. How much? how cute they are. They are so cute. Okay. They're not going to add that much. Okay, participate. They're cute. They add a little jingle. So cute. They're pretty leaves. Like, I don't think they're specifically fall leaves, but they're pretty leaves. So. So they're going to add a little bulk. They're not going to add a lot of bulk. Just, just a little. Okay. So there is that. And it fits. Oh God, what happened? No! We can't have that much. Oh, man. Okay. Sometimes you don't have to, um, sometimes you don't have to cut it. Sometimes you can just get in between the wax and kind of wiggle it up. that's okay too we just have to tighten that up this has been a very like <laughs> if I can show you wrong on this one I'm gonna show you wrong okay this is where I need to tighten it this one <coughs> okay thread does not stretch so if you know you get this in here right you've got it right if you don't then you'll have to wiggle it out okay so tight tight okay fixed right here Okay, so when it closes now, it's still, it's still okay. 
We're going to add our tags in our journal. It's going to be fine. And this is just going to be one big tag in here and then some smaller tags from what we have left over tucked in. Okay. I got to take care of my needle real quick. If I don't, I will lose it and then I have to hunt. Okay. So this is what I do so that I always know I have. This helps you pull. If it's a really thick journal, you really want a little piece of sponge. But I've had the sponge a long time, so they last. So you just take this and just pull it through your sponge, like so. That's that. So that closes off and your needle stays, and then you just ooh, roll this around and pop it in. That's it. And then I try to always keep my tip on my awl. It came with the tip, so I try to keep it on there. Keeps you from poking yourself. So, okay, let's do this. on the time but I figure if you don't want to finish watching it you can just end it or you can pause it or okay I really I like that tab so I'm gonna cut a little bit off of the bottom so I can keep my tab that much, about that much. And then it will go in like so. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe we'll put a small one behind it that we're not going to cut so short. Yeah, that'll be cute. Maybe we'll do it this way. <laughs> that'll be cute. Then this one can go in here, like so. And then, well, let's make it a little shorter. Because <clears throat> we want the other tags to be seen too. right there. And then we're going to put one of these right in there. So that'll be cute. There'll be three tags there and then I like this tag better. So here and then we just need one more big tag. And so let me get another file folder real quick. I know where they are. I knew where they were. Okay. So we get a new file filter. And then we're going to mark it. And y'all already know, I like the little nuances of the file folders. So, if I can use it and it can stay, then I usually leave it alone. So, right about there. Just remember to cut inside that, like, 
you, you don't want to cut right along that middle area. You want to cut to one side of it. And then when you cut the other tag, you'll cut alongside it. If you cut a tag, gosh, well, I quit hitting that. So see, you have that edge right there, not on your tag. And I imagine most of you already know this stuff, and I'm just saying it in case there's anybody new to journal making watching this. I know most of you already know this stuff. But I mean, I am just sitting here making a joint journal. <laughs> I should say so. blood pressure is high today. And I should worry about it, but I'm not going to today. But I think pretty soon I'm going to go take a nap. See if I could get it to come down just a little bit. <clears throat> they are setting up that carnival today. I guess maybe it starts Thursday. I thought it started Friday, but maybe... Um, well, not maybe, but they have a chili cook-off on Thursday. And then um, the carnival rides, they don't open until Friday. But our whole little downtown, it's going to be downtown. And it's all, uh, you know, sectioned off. And I think they have the little um, walk under uh, from Route 66. I think it's opened again. They had to close it down because there were vandalism. I hate that people vandalized it. It's like, don't you have anything better to do? They let you write on the walls. I mean, literally, they let you vandalize it, but they broke the lights out that were in there and um, broke the cameras that are under there. So now our cameras are going to be kind of like... Um, what they call them, you know, like recessed. They have a name, but that's not the name. But they're going to be recessed into the ceiling, like where you can't access them. But I promise if the vandals want to access them, they'll access them one way or the other. If you ever get an opportunity to uh, visit the little town I live in, one, I'd like to say hi. And second, uh, Make sure you go underneath, you walk underneath Route 66 from one side of the highway to the other side. We have um, one of the last Sears and Roebuck houses here. And um, we also have the last, it's a special bridge, like it's a trust bridge, but it's special. And it's the last one in the United States. And that's in Chelsea, Oklahoma. That is like so neat. The bridge is very pretty. One day, uh, me and my husband stopped on it to take pictures, and um, there was some guy fishing underneath it. And 
you know, you talk. You, we were talking, and and uh, this guy pops his head up, and he was he answered us. Scared me to death. Just like, oh, my heart like shook. It's funny. He's fishing under there. Our water was real high. Now our water is real low. Last year, the, uh, the water was super, like, high. And so when we first moved here, it still was high. But then as the summer has progressed, the water goes down lower and lower and lower. And I don't think you could take your little boat down there anymore. I think it would get stuck in the mud. One side of it is real pretty. Green lush has rolling water and the other side is like brown stagnant it's like weird one thing i will say oklahoma has some beautiful lakes rivers and streams have some beautiful places to hike. I really wish I could go on long hikes. I still try real hard to go on short hikes. Um, I get out of breath so fast now. It's kind of not fair to the people I used to hike with, but they would still welcome me along. wouldn't be there. So, okay. Oh, one of those, yeah, we're shorter. Okay, so we're this far and I'm going to come back and I'm going to mat these tags and then I'm going to start the um, journal that's going to go in it. But I'm going to take a break and I'm going to take a nap. So I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your day. Bye.